And hello, all my fellow nerds out there. It's Oracle and Richie, and welcome to Starry Flowers. This is made by now. This is made by the same person or group that made that made sp first kiss at a spooky soiree and in syrup in the ultimate suite. You can you can probably tell just from the art style already. Um, apparently, this one include the two main characters in this one are two characters from each of those visual novels, and I and I was interested. I was intrigued. I kind of wanted to see where this would lead, so um, let's go ahead and start. Oh, hey, it's, oh, it's Periwinkle from a uh, Periwinkle's from a uh, uh, first kiss at Spooky Soiree, I think. Hello, and welcome to the deliciously romantic tale of my first love. There's just one thing before we begin. I can grant you the power to choose my accessories at various points in the stories. Wait, so we get to customize them? Oh right, in Spooky Soiree, he did say he he likes to uh, to customize himself and stuff, right? I mean, very gracious to to offer you such a thing, you know. If you use it, you'd better make me look as adorable as possible. This little feature has no effect on the story, otherwise. It's simply there for your entertainment, should you wish to, wish for it. Would you like to enable just a feature? Oh, I want to be uninterrupted. Um, you know what? Let's take, in the full, let's take in the full experience. Let's go ahead and accessorize. Then without further ado, let's get ready for my first date with Pas Pastille. Pastille? Isn't that, isn't that the guy from Syrup and, Ult and the Ultimate Dessert? Oh. Oh! Okay, so we get, like, accessories. <laughs> we come on. If you give me the option to put cat ears, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not put cat ears here. Light choker, dark choker, blue flowers, fairy wings, pretty sparkles, cat tail. You know what? I'm making I'm making him the cat. Ooh, my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna make him I'm gonna make him be a cat. He's gonna be a cat for the for the entirety of the story. Chapter one, first date. Today I met a boy in, at a candy shop. I wonder what candy shop that was. Syrup's candy shop, anybody? The moment I saw him, I just knew I couldn't leave with, without flirting a little. He was so delightfully flustered, which of course only made him uh, that much cuter. When I told him to meet me here, he could only manage a nod in response. So cute. Ah, uh, my favorite type of pursue. My favorite type to pursue. Ah, there he is now. It is Pastille! Yeah, it's him from, um, Syrup in the Ultimate Dessert. Or, no, 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 wait. Syrup in the Ultimate Sweet. That's what it was. Hey, I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. Pastille, look at you. And here I thought you looked plenty good in that uniform. My heart was unprepared. S sorry, is it too much? I can change. My, but I haven't even fully seen what's under that cloak of yours. It'd be such a waste to change prematurely. Ah, uh, right. Forget it then. Besides, it'll always be my pleasure to unwrap you later on my on my sweet. <laughs> uh, uh. Now, shall we head for din head to dinner? Okay, I'll lead the way. I, I, oh, right. I kind of forgot that uh, Periwinkle was a bit forward with the, with his needs. I truly didn't expect it. He definitely seemed the type to have more modest sense of style. Thigh highs and such a short skirt? Or was it a dress? I only briefly glimpsed it. I'm quite looking forward to seeing more tonight. I swear, if this, if this thing gets saucy, I'm probably going to be cutting a few things. The restaurant I decided on is one of my favorite, favorite usual rotate, was one in my favorite usual rotation. Just for quiet, comfortable evenings. For a variety of dates, you must have 
have a variety of locations in mind. Tonight's mood is romantic rendezvous. It's a little hi- it's a little high end, though not o- overtly so. Just enough to make the night feel special. Bastille s- slides into the booth, following Periwinkle's lead. One hand holds his mantle in place, while the other brushes his bangs aside anxiously. Is this your first time? Huh? Coming here, I mean. What do you, what do you think I what do you think I was asking? Uh, <laughs> no, nothing. I've never been here before. It seems fancy. I'm a fan of the atmosphere. The food isn't bad either. Now, let's get the new fo- a few formalities out of the way, shall we? First and foremost, your pronouns. You know, that's actually really You know what? That's a really that's a very smart move. Smart move. Always ask someone for their pronouns so you can at least refer to them properly. Oh, um, I just use he, him. What about you? The same, though I don't necessarily mind being called by others. Others, especially considering my presentation. <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. Have a nice day. <laughs> Next expectations. I consider clarity in- Oh! Uh, oh wait, I can go- I can, Yes, I can go back, thank god. Wait, no, back, back up, back up, I, admit, I didn't read it. I consider clarity in, the, in this regard to be a key part of ensuring we both enjoy ourselves to the fullest. I do this, sor- this sort of thing often, you see. As such, I have a couple of ground rules to establish. Sure, I'm actually glad you brought it up. Oh? I'm not looking for, for anything serious. In fact, I kind of prefer when, it, when it's just a one-night thing. <laughs> We're on this very same page, then. Um, not that um, I mind if, you know, we end up wanting to do this again some other time. That's quite likely for me in this case. Certainly, I'm open to that as well. Do you have any other ground rules? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Are you nervous? Yes. You can tell you can tell me to stop if you're feeling too overwhelmed. That's the other rule. I um I like feeling overwhelmed t- to an extent. I mean, the way I mean the way he works in um syrup in syrup's candy shop. I think I, I think I kind of know what he means. I assumed as much, but to hear you admit it outright, Papa Steel. In that case, I'll do what, I'll do my best to overwhelm you, my sweet. <laughs> I, I try to give him the best voice there, okay? Yes, this was shaping up to be a wonderful night indeed. The waiter came back to take our order. I went first to give give my sweet date the chance to compose himself. With our with our food order, Pastille finally drops his mantle to reveal, my my. Oh, the mantle was the... It's his cloak. That's another name for his cloak. Oh, I get it. I, I never really understood why people call it a mantle. It's, I thought I, I always thought a mantle like another name for a lamp. But no, it's another name for a cloak. Like, so it was a cute little dress after all. Oh, and here I thought you were saving the surprise for after dinner. Sorry, um, I started feeling awkward with, with the extra layer. Don't apologize. My only lament, lament is not getting... To take it off of you myself. Uh, you'll save for the last few layers for me, won't you? Mm-hmm. That, that's all that matters then. I'm having the time of my life, and by by the looks of it, so is Pastille. I mean, by the looks of it, to me, he's blushing bright red. <laughs> he's blushing redder than his freaking hair. Ah, I live to tease the cute, cute witch boys. Actually, wouldn't a male witch just be called a warlock? I always, I always got. I always had the question that, like, aren't males just called warlocks? Or are there actual male witches that exist in fiction? I don't know. <laughs> how, how fortunate that I came across the sweetest one today. Our food arrives before Pastille is able to recover. He can't even look at the waiter, the waiter in the eye. How adorable. No, I mustn't overindulge before we've even eaten our meal. There will be plenty of time after dessert. Castillo takes a few bites of his food before speaking up. So, Periwinkle, what do you do for a living? Besides tease you until you're barely able to speak? Yes, besides that. My line of work, then? Hmm, I suppose I can tell you. I'm a, I'm an aeromagician. I specialize in creating pleasant scents. Periwinkle tugs his wand out from his sleeve and lightly taps a candle on the table. 
In small bursts, the atmosphere shifts around the pair. The candle original, candle's original aroma is quickly forgotten and is replaced by something new and cozier. Oh, that is nice. What smell is that? I'm no good at pinpointing stuff like this. Vanilla, I thought it suited you, although... I'm starting to think a more lustful scent might have been, been a better fit. What does that even mean? <laughs> look, look how angry he gets. Like, look at his little eyebrows. He gets so angry. Like, like if you actually take away his eyes, his eyebrows look like his new eyes. <laughs> Just that you've done nothing ex but exceed my expectations. I I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Wait, it's like it's like that meme, right? It's like that meme. It's like, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> Pistillo retreats behind his glass of water, overwhelmed by embarrassment once again. I did say I'd go a little easier on him, didn't I? He's just too irresistible. Anywho, I bottle and se sell scents like this one. It's fairly, fairly lucrative work once you build a reputation for yourself. Ah, sounds fulfilling. What about you, Pestiel? What kind of magic do you specialize in? Oh, I, I mostly been living without magic until recently. Without magic? I can't. Im I can't imagine. It's not so bad. I mean, humans do it, so why not? I suppose that's true. I very, I very directly like make like a living, make a living off of mine. So I, I'd find myself in quite a bind if I wasn't able to use it. <coughs> not that I mind being bound from time to time, you know. How do you keep doing that? Every time I think we're talking about something innocent. I just can't help myself, can I? Deliberate word choice, my sweet. Would you, would you like me to hold back for a little, a little more? No, it's okay. I was just <coughs> kind of impressed. We finished up our meals and decided on sharing this slice of strawberry cake for dessert. Wait, strawberry cheesecake after dessert. For dessert, I freaking just letting you guys know, I freaking love cheesecake, especially, especially um chocolate cheesecake. It's really delicious. Pastille deliberately, deliberately leaves the, uh, the larger bits of the strawberries for me. I wonder if the, if it because... I wonder, is it because he doesn't like them? Or is he just that kind? <coughs> Either way, this has quickly become my p most favorite date in the past few months. Tell me more about yourself, Pastille. I'm afraid the only thing I know is that you... You are at the renowned Atelier Suites. Hey, It, it mentioned, um... Freaking syrups workshop or candy shop, I should say. Oh, um, there's not much else to know. Surely there's plenty more than just that. Any hobbies, perhaps? C cleaning, maybe? Any non work related hobbies, dear? Sorry, I, <coughs> I never know how, how to answer these types of questions. My best friend is an alchemist, so. Hey, syrup! So. So I've recently been going on little adventures to help gather ingredients for a craft. Now there's something interesting. Other than that, I honestly don't get out much. I have my hands full running the store. So diligent. Th does that mean this is your first night out in a while? <coughs> uh, yeah, I guess it is. <coughs> I'm honored you were willing to you were willing to share it with me then. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. I don't think I ever would have would have tried this place if you hadn't brought me in. <coughs> so it's been worth so it's been worth it so far. Thanks, Periwinkle. The table had long been cleared, and yet our conversation had continued through the through the night. <coughs> this place is never too busy, which always leaves me free to linger here without the guilt of ta taking up any much needed table space. The longer the date, the more satisfying the finale. That's something I live by. Rushing straight into the climax inevitably gets a bit dull after a while. I, I want to enjoy this night to its fullest. <laughs> there it is with that um, purpose, purposeful word selection. I literally forgot what, it, what he called it. <laughs> Pastille, do you see the witch at the table over there? Hmm? Don't be too obvious now, but... <sighs> Yo, wait, 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 is it? Okay, no, no, I thought I thought that was um I thought that was the main character from First Kiss First Kiss at Spooky Soiree. <laughs> Whoops. Unless it is in just different hairstyle, I don't know. Don't be too obvious now. 
Do what? Oh, what was I <laughs> friggin' struck by recording thing? Anyways, don't be too obvious now. The one with the tall hat. You see? Ah, yeah, I see them. I brought I brought them here about two weeks ago. I guess they agreed to that it made a nice date spot. <laughs> I um I actually the, the guy sitting across from them. I'm pretty sure I've seen. I I wish I'd been with him before. No, surely you're joking, Pastille. Shh! Don't say my name so loudly. Just keep your head low. I'm sure he won't notice. Oh, he's just looked this way. <laughs> Only kidding. Perry. Oh, a nickname already. We're moving so fast. You're the one who's been calling me my sweet all night. <laughs> Look at the spirals in his eyes. That's just adorable. Well, you are, aren't you? Whose fault is it, is it that you share a name with Candy? Not mine. Still, I... Still, do you think those two make a good couple? How should I know? Yeah, just imagine what kind of person I'd go on, on a date with in a pair... And a pair of them with, with the other. And what kind of person is that? You, for one. <laughs> maybe, maybe they w wouldn't be so g good together. My, am I supposed to take offense to that? Nah, the guy was just kind of pushy. <laughs> You're too much, Pastille. We eventually made our way out of the restaurant that night. <coughs> it hadn't gone quite late. Oh. It had gone quite late already. When's the last time I stayed until closing? There was never a moment of awkward silence for us. Only Pastille's embarrassed pauses. Cle clear attempts to steer his mind away from the debau from debauchery. As he wandered back to the night's air, he's he's the first to speak up again. You could have at least let me come o at least let me cover the tip. Nonsense. I'm the one who asked you out tonight. You don't have to cover a thing. In fact, I'd prefer it if you didn't cover. Okay, I saw that one coming this time. Y you don't have to say it. Too easy, hmm? <laughs> but really, it's a sh shame to hide such a cute outfit from the world. I I don't have the confidence. Ah, reminds me of my youth. I mean, yeah, like, like didn't we learn in like a... Yeah, because in Spooky Soiree, Perry Periwinkle mentions that like he... He couldn't really be brave enough to fake. He couldn't really be brave enough to, you know, be out and about in a dress and all that. <laughs> you'll get there, my sweet. One day, you'll be you'll be able to toss aside your feelings of inadequacy and wear all sorts of daring outfits with pride. No, it's not. It's not a matter of self-esteem or anything. It's just if anyone knew, if anyone I knew saw me in this, I would die. So that's how it is. Hmm? I'm being treated more in to a more intimate side of this witch boy right now. We will we walk together under the streetlights until we reach our original meeting place. Would you like me to escort you home? N no, that's okay. Then, if you don't mind, my place is just down the street. Perhaps you'd like to accompany me. Y yes, I mean I wouldn't want you to have to walk walk alone in the dark. Such a gentleman. Ah, Periwinkle expertly sli slides his hand up and under under Pastille's mantle, linking arms as they go along. Ah, they walk they walk in comfortable silence towards Periwinkle's house. Well, this is me. I had a most lovely evening. Thank you for accompanying me to dinner tonight. I, I had fun too. Thanks for inviting me out. Pastille fidget, fidgets as if he has something to ask, but I can't find the but can't find the words. Pastille, Periwinkle takes a step closer. Y yes. He leans in, pausing for any sort of reaction, only for Pastille's lips to come clumsily crashing forward. Ah. He has, he's in more of a rush than I thought. Then again, I did spend all night wi winding, winding him up, winding him up. <laughs> So cute. Uh, Pastille, I just remembered. Since we're here, would you like to come in and sample some of my magic? Uh, I'd like that. Yes. Very well, then. We both knew from the beginning that he would be staying the night, of course. It's just so much more fun drawing it, drawing it out like this. 
Uh, but if that kiss was any indication of things to come, I may have gone gone a little overboard tonight. If so, we're in for quite the sleepover. Sorry about the mess. I haven't found the time to tidy it up. The door closes loudly behind him. When Pastille d- doesn't respond, Periwinkle turns back to face him. Oh? Oh, Perry... Pastille is back against the door as he fumbles to untie his mantle. He's completely run out of patience, hasn't he? Then I'm afraid I simply have no choice but to indulge him. Oh, oh my. <laughs> you shouldn't keep... I shouldn't keep you waiting a second longer now, should I? Mm. Uh, but I still need to change it to something a little easier to take off. Look, looking this good can, comes at a price, you see. I promise I won't keep you waiting. Uh, okay. Periwinkle gives him another peck on the lips and leads him through, through a cluttered living room. Wait, okay, I can't take a look at this living room. Honestly, this actually looks like a really cool place to live. I'm not gonna lie, especially when it comes to the... The bookshelf, the chest, the posters. And I, and I like the little touch of the candles on the table. That, that, like, that really touches like to, to like uh, Perry's, per- Perry's profession of being, you know, an aeromagician. I think they call it like aeromagician? Yeah. Like aero, like aero, like aromatherapy or something like that. Chapter two, Conjured Fragrance. It took me ages to get out of bed that morning. After all, I couldn't just, I couldn't stop, just stop thinking. I just, blah, I can't read. <laughs> I need to get myself some glasses or something. After all, I just couldn't stop thinking about how absolutely adorable Pastille was. He scrambled out of here almost as soon as he woke up, saying he couldn't be late for work. Such a shame. Would have been nice to get, to get one last round in. <laughs> I already know. I think we know where this is going. Let's just skip to the end. <laughs> I think that's literally what the what that meme is. I might just edit that meme at some point in the video. I did get a kiss, a kiss goodbye, though. <sighs> it feel, it's nice to feel like a housewife for a moment. But I should get work to work, too. I have an order to fill in, don't I? <coughs> hey, my uncle rolls out of bed and gets ready for the day. Okay, wait. Can I just take a look around the room? So, like... I'm wondering... Because, like... I like how... I know how ga- game developers like to hide things. So, like... There's, like... Okay, so I see like a changing uh, wall here, like the like you know the wall that you pull and expands. It's like acts like a changing room of sorts. There's like a hat stand, a lamp, makeup kit. Kind of like this. this is really cool. <coughs> Periwinkle finally rolls out of bed and gets ready for the day. The order in a, in a question is for a nearby ap- apothecary. Apothecary? Wait, what's a, what's an apothec? Apothec? Apothecary. Hold up. Did you know aromag- magic like mine is actually quite good for you? Wait, let me actually look that up. Let's see, Apo- apothecary, a per a person who prepared and sold m- medicines and drugs. Oh, that's what that is. I've literally never heard of that phrase <laughs> or that word, I should say. <coughs> it's got nothing to, on actual healing magic, but the calming atmosphere does it creates does wonders for one's mood. This particular batch is meant to help with insomnia, which I, which is ironic considering how late I stayed with, Pas- I stayed up with Pastille. Whoops, can't be ga- getting distracted now. I really need to finish up these last few bottles. Periwinkle closes his eyes and draws his wand. Large drops form at the tip, at the tip, falling into the empty bottle one by one. With each drip, the bottle content swells, and after only the fifth drop, it completely, it's completely filled. <coughs> Perfect. Uh, it's so much easier to f- finish these with a clear mind. I can't help but re- a re- I can't help it if- I can't help it if a refreshing night is out is the only way to g- regain my focus. <coughs> Although I probably would have gone one more of these d- done last night if Pastille hadn't been so impatient. <laughs> no, no, mustn't let my mind wander too far from my work now. Periwinkle fills the remaining bottles, screwing the lids as he goes on. There. <laughs> now my house was going to smell like lavender. I'd, ne- 
I better head out before I'm lulled by, into sleep by my own magic. Oh, okay, we get to accessorize again. Okay, well, we already went with the cat outfit last time. Um, let's go. We can do angel halos. Yes, I freaking love angel, angel like accessories, like halos and wings and stuff. Those are like my favorite things. Okay, wait, can, we can move fairy wings. Lily hearts, angel wings. Yes, heck yeah, I love angel wings. Okay, this is. <coughs> uh, what can we? What else can we get? Demon horns and demon wings. Okay, let's just go with angel for now. Let's go with angel for now. This will be, this will be nice. The apothecary is only a short walk away, but I never managed to walk, walk in its doors on time. Perhaps because it's so close, I always underestimate the time it takes to reach it. I can hear the owner tapping her foot with impatience as soon as I open the door. Astralgas! Oh my- Whoa! Whoa! Sorry, I wasn't expecting that, but dang! Who is- who is this person? As Astraga- Astragulus! Astragulus, I have that special order ready for you. You're late again, Periwinkle. Lost track of time. You'll forgive me, won't you? You are literally my only provider who has no respect for appointments. That's simply not true. I never miss a date. There's the problem. There's the problem. You were out getting late again, weren't you? <laughs> okay, the game just goes outright doing, saying that. Okay, then. How vulgar. I had a romantic evening with a very cute boy. Who ended up sleeping over? Well, you had all week to fill the order. Try getting it done in advance next time. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> now, let's see what you brought. I've worked... I've worked with Astragalus, Astragalus for a few years now. <coughs> She's completely immune to my charms. Shocking to say the least. But it's meant we... But it's meant we've been able to remain good friends all this time. Or... Hmm, let's see. Astragalus, would you consider us to be good friends? I put up with you. My, but you don't put up with anyone. But you don't put up with anyone. You must really like me. <laughs> you got... You got a favor to ask or something? Is that what is that what you're getting at? No, I was just thinking of how to categorize our relationship. Business associate works just fine, doesn't it? Come now, surely you consider us to be closer than that. I know better than to get involved with you, Periwinkle. Why, whatever do you mean? You're, you're too dazzling. I'll take that as a compliment. Great, now will, now will you stop distracting me? I'm trying to count. Yes, we're definitely good friends. Too dazzling, though. I'm not sure. That, I'm sure. I'm not sure there is such a thing. And, and what would be wrong if it, if it were there, if it, with it, if there were, if there was? What point is there in not shining as brightly as one can? Astragalus finishes counting the bottles and sighing in, in faint exasperation as she marks them off her checklist. You. You may always be late, but you deliver quality every time. You're consistent, if nothing else. The, w the waiting is part of the fun. It builds excitement, wouldn't you say? Nope, just builds frustration for me. But at least you always come through. She unlocks a small drawer behind the counter and takes out an envelope with Periwinkle's name scribbled on it. Here's the rest of your payment. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh, I couldn't if I tried. Really, you're too generous. Astragalus rolls her eyes and begins stocking the shelves with her new inventory. Two or three month, two or three orders a month. That that's all it takes to support myself. I entirely through this ap apothecary. I think it's I think it's actually pronounced ap apothecary. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Hard to believe my magic is really worth so much. But who am I to complain? It's certainly more favorable balance compared to the kind. Of Kind of work I was doing years ago. I do enjoy the freedom, the excessive amounts of time I have for partying, partying for dates. Ah, on that note, with all the business out of the way, would you like to hear about my date? Would I like to? Not necessarily. Please, Astragalus, as someone with no romance in your own life, I, the least you can do is live vicariously through me. The no romance thing is by choice. I listen to I listen to you gush for your own damn sake. 
For my sake? Yeah, I'm afraid you might, you might actually implode if you, if you had no one to talk to about this stuff. I'm actually making a noble sacrifice every day. <laughs> every day that you could... That you can come in here with new tales of romantic conquest. Hmm. <laughs> if you're truly suffering, I shall desist. That's the thing, though. I do like seeing you all worked up over something, even if I don't understand it myself. <laughs> uh, so there is a mutual benefit. You'll, lis you'll listen, then? Yeah, at, le at least until I get the all this put away. After that, I'm kicking you out for the day. Fair enough. I better be brief, then. He's the absolute cutest thing. I picked him him up at the candy shop yesterday. <clears throat> Pink fluffy hair with golden eyes, naturally rosy cheeks, and, and that make cheeks that make him look look as if he's always a little embarrassed by something. <clears throat> he's shy, but not the type that becomes paralyzed in the bedroom. Periwinkle, for the last time, I do not need to hear about bedroom stuff. I wasn't giving any details, although the details are the best part. This is the safe for work zone only. Break that rule and you're out of here. My apologies, I'll refrain. Anyway, my point is, he's extremely cute. Adorable, in fact. So, right, so standard fare for you. Absolutely not. If he, if it was, if he was just your average cutie, average cutie, would I be emphasizing his cuteness so much? I don't meet these people, so it's all the same to me. How can it be? So, the intensity is so drastically different, perhaps so intense I'm having trouble explaining it properly. I'll say, all you've really told me so far is that he's cute and shy. <laughs> he's kind as well. He saved the best part of our dessert for, for me without even asking. Wow, I guess I... Wow, I would have led with that one. Oh, enough of your sarcasm. When, when all my favorite details are off limits, what do you suppose I'm left with? Well, what really matters is that you had a good evening. Even if it me means you couldn't get your get here on time like I asked. <coughs> uh, so I'm already hoping to see him again, to be honest. Oh yeah? Don't, don't hear that from you very often. Really? But I've gone on second dates all the time. This guy got a name? Mm. <laughs> I don't kiss and tell. No, actually, you tell me about everyone you kiss. Come on, if he's really the absolute cutest, it's a shame to keep anonymous, right? Not, not like I'm gonna tell anyone anyways. Fine, his name is Pastille. Hm, he's... even his... even his name is cute. Right? Uh, oh, that reminds me, he sold... he sold me some candies that... that share his name. Would you like to try? Sure, how can a witch turn... turn out a free candy? Periwinkle digs into his bag and pulls out one of Pasti the Pastilles. He hands the candy to Stragulus, who promptly unwraps it and pops it in her mouth. Mmm. Oh, these are good. Where did you say the candy shop was? Not far from here. I'll give you directions. Shortly after telling a Stragulus where to find a stale of your sweets, she unceremoniously kicked me out. <coughs> she had long finished putting all those bottles away, after all. With, my, with money in my pocket and no more work to be done for the moment, I would begin pursuing my next date. <laughs> but wherever shall I go? It's a weekday, too early for par parties, too early for drinks. I suppose I could return home and strain up the place. However, why would I busy myself with chores when I could be celebrating with another order, another order successfully filled? Before Periwinkle could decide where to go, a familiar witch approaches him. Casia, Periwinkle. Oh, Casia, it's so lovely to see you. <coughs> Yay, I'm so glad we ran into each other. How to describe Cassia? She's exceedingly, exceedingly cuddly. We met at a party one night during, during which she latched onto my arm and never let go. Quite endearing. <coughs> Wait, party? Wait, was that the soiree thing? Please, please tell me. I need to go back to the soiree video and see, cause I can never remember. Since then, we've gone on little dates from time to time. She really loves my magic, so I tend to spoil her with her whenever we get together. Did you need something, dear? Uh, yes. I tried coming over last night, but you didn't seem to be home. Oh, you came to visit me? I'm flattered. I must have been out, out to dinner at the time. Sorry that I missed you. 
Oh, it's okay. I was mostly look, looking to talk. So, um, if you're available right now, do you want to go to the cafe? That sounds perfect. I would love to. Ooh. This, this is pre- Wait, let me tie the text box. Ooh. This is a really- I really like this color. It really suits, uh, Casey right here. <coughs> we take our seats at a nearby cafe. It's a pleasant, sunny little place. Sunny little place. I've come here all from with all sorts of other witches. Kizia orders her usual hot chocolate with extra marshmallows, while I decide on a simple rose tea. Oh, Periwinkle, could you make, make my marshmallows smell like roses too? With pleasure. Periwinkle's wand drops from the sleeve and, and gives Casey a cup a quick, a quick little tap. I literally cannot feel my foot now. What the heck? Ugh, my foot fell asleep. Ugh. <laughs> Yay, it really smells just like roses. Just as you asked, yeah. It may, it may slightly affect the taste. So let, let me know if if you if you'd like the smell undone. Casey dips her spoon in and lifts the, lifts the marshmallow to her lips, blowing blowing on it gently and pop, popping it into her mouth. Mm, no, it's wonderful. <laughs> she truly can find the joy the joy in the little moments. Such a delight. Definitely a contender for the title of absolute cutest witch. Though I would call her absolutely cute rather than absolute cutest. <laughs> it takes more than cuteness alone to earn the titles of the absolute cutest witch. That, that's where the difference lies, of course. But what am I thinking? How rude is it to be th to be to begin ranking my dates in such a way? <coughs> it must be it must be stuck on the th thought from my from my earlier conversation with Astragalus. Trying to put Pastille's cuteness in, into words. He really is something special. Ah, it's, it's all too. I just lost my voice there. <coughs> oh God. Ah, it's it's all in con in the contrast. His polite, well-mannered, and proper exterior concealing such an intense desire, begging you to make make the first move, and then going ahead and taking taking it all on his own as soon as you. Enough of that. So, there's someone else in front of me right now, isn't there? Casey continues happily sipping her hot chocolate before speaking up again. Ah, I missed you, Periwinkle. I've, I've been so busy when I'm pa with packing. I haven't had a chance to see you at all. Packing? And just where you were heading off? Where are you heading off to? <coughs> oh, that's right. I never got a chance to tell you. I'm finally moving in, in with my partners. In two more days, the three of us will all, all be sleeping in the same bed. Oh, oh, is it a poly relationship? That's interesting. Oh, that sounds cozy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I, I looked forward to it for so long. So, it sounds like you... It sounds like you're about to enter a lovely domestic life. Lovely domestic life. You deserve it. Aw, <laughs> I'm really happy. But um, speaking of my partners, you've never even met them. True. But I can imagine they're one... They're wonderful, just just from how you've talked about them. Right, but um, what if you didn't have to imagine? That that's why I've been eh, wanting to talk to you about. I was hoping we might be able to go on a group date sometime. Oh, yeah, because like I just think you're so wonderful, Periwinkle. I I want them to know to know you too. Hmm. Mm, although it sounds like fun, I'm a bit. Wait, before you say no, they're both very easygoing, so loving and nice, I can promise it won't be overwhelming. That unfortunately isn't where the issue lies, my dear. I know you said you didn't want to get involved before, but I just know that we would we would all get along so well. I'd like to reassure you however I can, but I can I understand if you still turn me down. Marriage and love are so tricky, aren't they? I still recall the first time something like this was asked of me. I had been nervous going in, but I had also never entered a group situation before. I, I only attributed my anxiety solely to that. However, it quickly became clear that I, ju that I just wasn't suited to it at all. I do love to spoil each of my partners, but strictly one at a time. Perhaps I was left scarred by the breakdown in communication and passion. Passionate fires of long-established romance. Surely Cassia and her partners are magnificent people, 
It may be an, it may indeed be fun for a night, but becoming entangled in committed relationships is something I've always avoided from the beginning, isn't it? This is all very sweet of you, but but I do have to decline. Ah, can't help but be, feel a little brokenhearted. I apologize. Truly, it's nothing personal. Oh, I know. I don't take any offense or anything. It's just sad. No, now that I'm going to be living with them and knowing you don't want to meet them, I think it's the best. I think it's best we just break things off. Yes, I agree. As as you said, it's for the best. I hope we can still be friends, though. Of course, I'm sure our paths will cross every now and again. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for always treating me so well, Periwinkle. <laughs> it was all my pleasure. Even casual relationships can end in breakups like this. This is largely why I tend to prefer one-night affairs. They, things can just become so messy as, as, need, as needs evolve. <clears throat> as Cassie and I go around se our separate ways, I can't help feeling a little blue. Perhaps I'll return home for one for the day <coughs> return home for the day after all. <coughs> Periwinkle quickly changes into something more comfortable, dropping his bag unceremoniously onto the couch. I can use an afternoon nap. Yes, that's precisely what I need. I'll wake up feeling refreshed and ready to go back out out on the town. He shoves some blankets aside and collapses onto the couch, and when he does, the contents of his bag spills into the floor. Uh -huh. Lazily leaning over to gather it up, he notices the candies from before. Was I too hasty in saying I'd hope to see Pastille again? I suppose I'd forgotten the feeling of not being enough for someone. Usually, these things tend to dissipate naturally without confrontation or notice. So when they don't, it stings. Periwinkle scoops up the candies, dropping all, of, all but one of them into his bag. He settles into a place on the couch nestled in a tangled mess of blankets and cushions, and wraps his chosen pastille. It is sweet, though. What a shame would it, that would be if I never got to taste it again. That's right, I can never resist the promise of an entertaining night, no matter what, what may come down the line. I am, hope, I am a hopeless hedonist, after all. Wait, what the heck is a hedonist? A person who believes that the pursuit of, ple of pleasure is the most important thing in life. A pleasure seeker. Oh, that makes sense. Nothing to be done about that. Let fate decide then. If he comes, he comes. And if we never meet again, I can always hold on to the memory of our perfect date. Several hours later. There's a knock at the door. <coughs> and right there's doorstep, Periwinkle is pleasantly surprised to find... Pastillo! He's back! Pastille, I wasn't expecting to see you again so soon. And treating me to another cute new look, no less. Um, I... Sorry, sorry, I... Um, I couldn't stop thinking about... I mean, I realized last night I never actually got to sample your magic. The sense you mentioned. Oh, oh, that's right. We were quite preoccupied. Hmm. E yes. So that's why I'm here. He finally manages to make eye contact, but quickly averts his gaze once more. Uh, um, were you, were you in bed? Sorry, I shouldn't have come so late. <laughs> These aren't, aren't even my sexiest pajamas. I didn't say anything about that. But to answer your question, no, I wasn't. Although I did take a nap earlier this afternoon, I've otherwise been enjoying a relaxing night in. And I'm so very glad I didn't end up going out. I would have missed out on, on this flustered mess. Oh my, oh my god, he's freaking drooling. Uh, <laughs> would you like to come in? Castile nods vigorously in response. It's still a bit of a mess in here, I hope you don't mind. There, there's a path though, I've seen worse. Oh, maybe I'll let you, let it spiral further into chaos then. I'm just so competitive, you know. I'm not sure if that's competition you really want to win. <laughs> Perhaps not. <coughs> Periwinkle carefully steps over some of the clutter to dig, dig through one of, one of the boxes in the far corner of the room. 
Ah, here they are, my personal favorites. This row here contains some, some more potent scents. Most of them for relaxation, relaxation, things to calm the nerves. The rest just I just happen to like. Sweet scents like strawberry, banana, bubblegum, mango. Is, is there a reason you're only naming candy flavors? <laughs> Must be a coincidence. Steve, Pastille picks out, out an unlabeled bottle filled with pink, pale pink liquid. What's this? Ah, oh, watch out. That one... That one's an aphrodisiac. Hmm, we'll see about that. Basile locks eyes with Periwinkle as he opens the vial without hesitation. How bold! Oh, it's Peach! <laughs> I almost expected it to be overpowering. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, well, the aphrodisiac bit was a lie, but I'm glad you like it. <clears throat> You're really good with this type of magic. I've never done anything like this before. Like, suddenly, suddenly, Pastille's accent turned British for a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> hmm? Oh, no, I don't do perfume or cologne or anything like that. You've never tried it? Oh, so would you say you're a perfume virgin then? I'm not! Who even says things like that? In my line of work, you'd be surprised. It's probably just you. <laughs> Maybe so. If you're not going to try it, I'll have it back now, please. I could try. I just don't know how I'm supposed to apply it. May I? Pastille nods, handing over a small vial. Periwinkle seals the opening with his fingertips and swiftly tilts the vial over and back. Here. He only rubs the spot on Pastille's neck, engulfing them both in a pleasant scent of his magic. Their eyes meet, ne neither of them daring to, make the to be the first to move. Hmm, maybe, maybe the aphrodisiac bit wasn't a lie after all. Pastillo breaks the spell and rushing forward to, with a sudden kiss. Aww. And then retreats just as quickly. Uh, um, sorry, I I just... Oh my god, he's got hearts in his eyes. <laughs> I, I've, I've seen enough heart, hearts in the eyes to know where it's going. He certainly is impulsive. Not that I mind at all. I'm more than happy to go along with your little game, Pastille. Oh no, my own magic is working too well. I guess there's no choice but to have my way with you, sweetie. My sweet. Uh, oh no. <laughs> you can tell Bastille's trying to play along. Look how red his face is. That's just, that's just adorable. Bastille's half-hearted protests and there. Periwinkle's ha hands were already upon him and would continue to be, f to be for the rest of the night. Chapter 3, Missteps. Um, okay, actually, I think I'm gonna leave this, I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. Um, wait, do I have a, is there like a save thing I can do? Yes, I can save, okay, thank God. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna leave this here for now, so thank, so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like, like, tell me what you think, and leave comments below. I wanna know what, what you want me, what you want to see me play next, or if you, and if you want to see more of this kind of stuff and stuff on my channel, you know, visual novels and all. Uh, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a single notification. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.